Hey everyone, we are now dealing with moment generating function and we're asked to find the mean, variance, and PMF. Now, what I wrote is the probability that x equal 1 is equal to 2 over 5. Why? It's because looking at the, the equation, you have 2 over 5 e to the power of t. That e to the power of t is actually e to the power of 1t. And you have 1 over 5 e to the power of 2t. Well, the coefficient of the exponent, or the, the coefficient of the variable of the um, of e, which is t, the coefficient of t is 1 because there is nothing before it, so it's 1, as we assume. Those coefficients, 1, 2, and 3, is what the probability of x is. So when x equals 1, the probability of x equals 1 is 2 over 5. The probability of x equals 2 is 1 over 5, and 3 is 2 over 5. Why? It's because the exponent, the coefficient in the exponent, is what x equals to. So, based on this, how do we find the mean? To find the mean of a moment generating function, the expected value, To find the mean, which is the expected value of a moment generating, generating function, we need to take the first derivative of the moment. So we need to take the moment first derivative. What does that equal to now? That, that would be equal to 2 over 5 et plus 2 times 1 over 5 would be 2 over 5 e to t plus 3 times 2 over 5 would be 6 over 5 e to the power of 3 t Now, we need to make that equal to zero, so now it will be the moment of about zero. That will be t equal to zero, that will be 2 over 5, plus 2 over 5, plus 6 over 5. And now we go to 10 over 5 equals to 2. So the mean is 2. Now, to find the variance, we need to find the second derivative of the moment genera generating function. Now, the second derivative will be m second derivative of t. And again, you will have the same answer. 2 over 5. And now, Instead of having now, now when you're taking the second derivative, we will have 2 times 2 over 5, which is 4 over 5. Oh, I missed the other part of it. That would be 2 over 5 e to the power of t plus 4 over 5 times e to the power of 2t plus now 3 times 6 is 18 over 5 e power of 3t. Now you make that again equal to 0 of 0 actually. So that will be now t equals to 0 so you have 2 over 5 plus 4 over 5 plus 18 over 5. Now 2 18 plus 4 equals to 22 plus 2 24 over 5. This is the second derivative. Now, to find the variance, what we have to do is the second derivative, which is m, second derivative of 0, minus the first derivative. That would be 24 over 5 minus 
10 over 5. And that, uh, 10 over 5, but remember, 10 over 5, that would be, that would be the mean, and we know that the mean, to find the variance, you have to square the mean, so you square that. Now, 10 over 5 squared would be 100 over 25, and if you simplify that, you would get 20 over 5. So basically, basically you would have, yes, basically, you if you divide by, by 5, you will get 20 over 5. So basically, you would have 24 over 5 minus 20 over 5. That would be equal to 4 over 5, which would be equal to 0.8. So this would be the, the variance, 0.8. Now, for the PMF, it's a, it's a little bit tricky. Why? Because we you have 2 over 5 e to the power of 1t plus 1 over 5 e to the power of 2t plus 2 over 5 e to the power of 3t. You have to find a way to make to get a, an equation that fits this P, uh, uh, M, MGF moment generating function. So the PMF, when after a lot of calculation, Remember, you can have two sets. Basically, one of them will be x plus 1 over 5 when x equals to 1. And then you would have x minus 1 over 5 when x equals to 2 and 3. Why? Because whenever you put x equals to 1, you will get 1 plus 1 equals to 2 over 5, which you have here, 2 over 5. Remember here, x equals to 1 equals 2 over 5. If x equals to 2, in the second part, down here, then you will have 2 minus 1 equals to 1 over 5, which will be here, 2 minus 1 equals 1 over 5, and for 3, you would have, again, 2 over 5. So this PMF here is actually correct. Now we the PMF of this exercise. Uh, but basically, that's what it is. Actually, this one is, um, guys, to be honest with you, if you are struggling to understand how to do the PMF, this video could help you because sometimes you're going to have to use two separate equations for a PMF. And I'm sure you guys already know that because by doing a lot of um, statistics before, you would see that some of these, they have two, they have two um, principles or two examples of equations for that PMF. So I hope this actually helped you guys understand more about the moment generating function and how to write the PMF. And if you have any question, feel free to, to, to comment. I'll be happy to probably make another video about it for you. But other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you understand and enjoy it. So other than that, have a good day.